Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking ba -da -ba -ba -ba. like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, bitch, bye, bitch, bye. I love doing that shit. Don't you love it? Some people hate it. Hey, stop doing that corny shit, gun. Mm -mm. Get the soul pumping, bato. Put a little bota in your love life, right? Feel that shit. Feel the wind. Because it's blowing. As you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Or the pinchy dubs. Don't. 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 Great minds think alike, right? Um, I kind of wanted to give you guys the rundown on my affiliation with dubs. Why I fuck with them, man. Um, and why I show them so much love. You know? And it reciprocates that back, man. That's the homie right there. That's the brother, man. He's a good motherfucker, right? Now, in life, you're going to meet a lot of people. You're going to meet a lot of fucking people, right? People that you like, people that you dislike, people that, that you could care less. Um, that's the way of the world. Or the earth, wind, and fire. That's the way of the world, okay? That's how it is. You can judge men by their, right, book by its cover. So, I don't like that shit. Have you read it? No, but from what I heard, right? It's always from what you heard, right? But what you don't hear is what counts. The realness, the real shit, right? Now, when I first started watching YouTube, which was a few years ago, I mean, I'm going to keep it real. You know, I'm, I'm I'm a Chicano. I'm looking for anything brown. Anything brown I can sink my fucking claws into, right? Um, So I could listen to, you know, I could be entertained. I want to be entertained by some Chicanismo, some Chicano shit, some brown shit, some fucking Mexican uh, uh, telling me, you know, some of that I could identify with. And Dubs pops up. You know, Dubs pops up. He's been having his channel for four or five years. Um, he pops up and I instantly, immediately like the Stilo. Immediately. I said, okay, this is someone I know that has been somewhere. He's an intelligent individual. Um, the way he speaks his stories, he knows how to not cut corners, but walk that line um, without saying too much. I, I can identify, I fuck with this guy right here. Now, you would think we have two totally different mentalities, two totally different styles. According to everyone out there, Gunners and J-Cat, right? That's furthest from the truth. People that know me behind the scenes know that that's not the way I am. Um, this is just, you know, how I get down. This is the way I talk. Um, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes in my head, you know, as far as, you know, what I'm thinking about, um, as far as me being a man. Now, I started listening to Dubs and, and a lot of his stories and a lot I could identify with. They sounded similar. They sounded familiar. Um, being in CYA, as he was in CYA, we're both YA babies. We both went through the trenches, through the motions. Um, be it on different sides, me being from up north, him being from down south, but at the same time, um, um, not too much is different. I've always said it, man. There's not too much differences other than rules and regulations. Other than that, so I was scared. We were both brown men going through the struggle. The turmoil was real. We were toiling in that soil and that's it, right? So I could identify with a lot of his spills. Um, but I never thought we'd have a conversation. You know, I wasn't the type to leave comments and, hey, Saskia, what's going on with you, bro? You know, I'm, I'm a big fan. I, ne I never did that. That was not my get down. Too much, you know. Um, every once in a while, I'd be like, agreed or, yeah, that's cool. You know what I mean? Or, hey, righteous, bro. But as far as like, hey, bro, can I get your autograph? I never did none of that shit. Um, that's not my style. But I was a big uh, supporter. I definitely tuned in every day. So time passes and I start my own channel. Okay? I started my channel because I watched boxers videos. I watched dubs videos. And I felt motivated uh, to maybe try to do something. And, and it worked out for me. You know, as far as people know, you know, I'm 50,000 deep. So I'm just going to Right? Hard work, man. Pays off. You know, I didn't get no help from anyone. or So I was getting none of that, man. You know, everything has been hard work and by the sweat of my motherfucking warlocks, right? I did what I had to do to make it work for myself, um, which is what men do. Okay, now all the repercussions for my actions of what I've said, you know, that's on me. That's not on my familia. That's not on my homeboys. That's not on anyone around me. That's on me, you know, and I'm willing to deal with the repercussions because, um, you know, what I say, I say. I stand by. Um, now, Somewhere along the line, me and Dubs got in communication. I don't know if I was going to ask him for an interview, if he was going to ask me. I don't know. I forget. But we got into communication, man, and we started to chop it up behind the scenes, talk and conversate. And we realized right off the bat, great minds think alike. We had a lot of the same ideas, a lot of the same motivations, a lot of the same push in this YouTube shit. And behind the scenes on some grown, grown fucking man to man, gang, gang, on some man to man shit, we both realized, homes we weren't too much different. We were just two men 
uh, struggling out there, trying to just get our bread homes, trying to fucking, uh, you know, just normal motherfucking brown man homes with a lot of the same philosophies, a lot of the same ways of thinking. You know, uh, we got to conversating, telling war stories, chopping it up. Hey, bro, you remember this? Remember that? You've been here, been that? Hey, I know that. What does that do? What does a poop but That what does about that business? You know, conversations that grown men that have been locked up have. You can identify. You know, I can say hot pot, and I don't have to worry about explaining it to the bottle. He's like, oh yeah, I have my hot pot. I can, you know, talk about a shank, and he knows how to sharpen one, right? So, you know, I'm gonna know where to put it too. And, you know, sail with the check. What I'm saying is, there was more in common than you would believe. Okay, so one day Dubs calls me out of the blue. True story. You know what I mean? Sit down here. Knowledge you can't get in college. Behind the scenes shit. Dubs calls me and he says, hey, gun. You know, I've been doing this YouTube shit for a very long time, brother. He was like, I don't, I can't seem to figure out the recipe, like how to get ahead, bro. Like I stay stagnant, you know, and I was like, look, and I started giving him some of the, the history and the rundown. I'm not the master of this shit. I don't run YouTube, bro. You know, quite contrary to what people believe. I only know what I know, what I've learned along the way, you know. I just got lucky and hit an algorithm, brother. I don't I don't know shit, right? But I was like, hey, you need to try this, 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 and this. Number one thing is stay dedicated, work hard, bro. Keep be consistent, drop good videos, be yourself, homes, be humble, don't talk shit about people. Just respect, you know what I mean? And, and do your thing. Keep doing what you're doing, bro, because I enjoy it. Shit, I'm sure other people do too. And he blew up. Okay, he he started to gain subscribers and and views, and, and he was like, I fuck appreciate you, gun. And I was like, it wasn't nothing I did, bro. All I told you was, you know, work hard, bro. Work harder. Be more man than them and work harder. That's all I said. And everything you've done, you did on your own merits, bro. And hey, you're doing your thing, boy. You're doing your thing, right? And he appreciated the fact, bro, that I was willing to sit down and talk to him. And I appreciated the fact that he was willing to ask my advice on anything. Um, because I look up to the bottle. You know what I mean? I respect him that much. That's real. Um, so when I say great minds think alike comes, we both have that motivating factor in our lives where we just want to spread our message homes, tell our stories and do our own fucking thing. If we can make a little bag on the side, that gets, well, see that time, right? If not, Hey, we're still going to do what we does. Cause, um, you know, some people in life you respect to the fullest, you know, they can do no wrong homes. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. We have a lot of good... I just got off the phone with Doug right now. That was on his way to work. Straight up. Spent on that theater. I was in traffic, right? We have a a, a, a a kind of like a system we've set up as far as, hey, I'll call you in the morning. You call me. He's in traffic. He calls me. We pick each other's minds. Hey, what are you dropping today? Hey, what does this sound like? Hey, listen to this story, bro. You think I... Um, it's called working together not to put anyone down or not to, to fucking motivate each other to work hard, bro. Brown men trying to fucking help each other prosper. See, we come from an old school era, bro, of guerra, a lot of war. We've been through a lot of wars, a lot of fucking, you know, playing chess, homes, when motherfuckers really wanted to play checkers. We've been through the art of war. So now when you can sit down with someone who was once your adversary, homes, and conversate and be cool because we're not involved in that, in that gang life anymore, homes, we don't disrespect it. We don't hate it. We don't talk shit about it, homes. We just are no longer uh, uh, involved in the reindeer games, right? Which ain't a bad thing. You know, as grown men, homes, we're just trying to do us and be us. And be fucking not positive role models in the community. Let's get fuck all that. It's it. We're just trying to fucking live, right? Hey, if you fucking take something that we say at Nugget Homes and you run with it, it helps you. Ponle. That's right, bro. Do your thing. And if it's something that hinders you and hurts you, well, let us know, homes, And we'll try to do the best we can to help you. Right? That's all we can do. So, okay, but fuck, don't expect us to hold your hand and lead you to... Anyways, um, so we have conversations. A lot of conversations behind the scenes. And I respect Dubs. I respect the man he is, the way he carries himself. And that's just the way it is. And he respects me. And for that, I say two great minds think alike. Because we have common sense. You know, we don't feed into the bullshit. You know, when I do see bullshit and I hear people talking about me and they're disrespecting me and they're clowning me and they're saying one thing about me, I say... You don't know me. You don't know me. That's the key thing right there. You talk about a family gun. You talk about this, that, no. Never. Never, homes. No, you talk about minds, bro. You know, we're going to get to that one of these days. But no, never. You know, I'm not that type of man. Real ones wouldn't fuck with me if they thought I was, bro. You know, I'm not ever going to disrespect someone just to disrespect them. See, I got out of that life, bro. I was in, I was involved heavily 
deep into the gang politics and the gang life, homes, I could have still been doing my thing, homes, easily, quite easily. You know, if I didn't do this YouTube shit, bro, no one know who I was, bro. I could have easily blended back in and got in the mix. I chose not to, bro. Not because I'm not a true believer in the cause or I don't got love. Because I fucking decided, homes, that my kids and my family means more to me, bro. And myself means more to me, man. You know? And that's it. Great minds think alike. You know? If you're still trying to be involved in something that you have no business in being involved in, you're still trying to act like you're fucking somebody you're not. Um, you're going to find out quickly and swiftly, homes, swiftly, bluely, that you're not, right? Period. It's the way it is. It's the way of the world, homes. It's the way it's called karma. You know, it'll come bite you right in the nalgas. Straight, arr, and you, arr, right? Then you can't take it anymore, right? Anyways, um, that's neither here nor there. The gist of this is that me and Dubs um, work cool with each other. You know, are we in, am, am, am I just, oh, I'm going to help him because I don't want to help him. And I'm going to, no, no. You know, I respect him. Homes. I respect everyone to tell you the truth. I think everybody has earned or developed or dirt uh, or, or demands their respect. And, and, and I respect it. It might not be for me, homes. I might not tune in, spend some homes. I might not, you know what I mean? Call you every day and hug, hug you and kiss you on your cheek. And I might not pinch your, uh, your nalga. And I, I might not do all that weird shit that you expect of me or that you want me to do deep down inside. But at the end of the day, homes, um, I respect your shit. You know, that's, that's period. I just want you to apologize to me. For what? You know, for, for having a YouTube channel and prospering. That's really what it is. Apologize to me, Gunner, because I can't do it like you do it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to apologize for nada, homes. I've done nada. You know what I mean? You, you got me fucked up, bro. You must think I'm some fucking suck on, sucker fish. I'm not. I'm far from that, homes. You know what I mean? I've been doing this, homes, when you didn't even know how to spell this. Now, look, um, besides that, um, we don't even want to go that route. Let's just say that fucking me and Dubs, bro, are hella cool, and that's the homie. And he's always going to be, right? Because great minds think alike. When you got someone that's from the Sur of Khalifas and someone that's from the North of Khalifas, right? And we're able to sit down and have a lucrative conversation that benefits both of us. And get to reminisce and, and, and talk about people, um, not in a bad light, homes, but shedding good light. And, and, you know, he's the type of person I can get my fucking historia from. He's very well versed in the cultura, the ancient history, um, our history as brown people. So kid, you think I don't soak that? You think I don't actually... Shit, dude, tell me another story, so go. You know what I mean? I'm listening to the stories because um, they mean something in my life. They have meaning that I have a perp They have a purpose in my life. You know, I love educating one's mind, um, and that's what I'm after. That's what I'm trying to grasp, right? Um, and, and this is the type of individual man that can help you. You know, because it's always good to know your history. You know, and not only does this man know the ancient history of the brown people, but he also knows the history of of you know the Africano brothers, the whites, everything. So I was good to book this like an encyclopedia or something like. And then and what do I bring to the table? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. You know what I mean? I'm different. But at the same time, homes, um, we feed off each other and we respect that. Now, I respect a lot of other people too, man. You know? Um, you know, Boxer, man, like I said, he was a motiv motivating factor in me doing this YouTube shit. I, I, I like his, his spills. I like his, he's very entertaining to me, man. He's just a, he's just the way he tells a story, bar none, man. That guy's a storyteller. He, he knows what he's doing. That's Harold Robbins. That's it. That's, that's no joke. That's Sidney Sheldon in, in the flesh, right? Um, Rojo, man, I just like that straight up, just, hey, this is the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be. Flacco, man, I like the way he tells his stories, you know, the way his work ethic. He's all over the place. He's trying to make it happen. Respects. Tony, stories written by Kern. I mean, he don't really tell stories, but he provides a, fu a fucking telephone call for other people to tell him. I respect it, man. He gave me a, a chance. You know what I mean? That's good. I respect it. Uh, uh, A-P-A-L, right? Respect it. Respect the way he tells the stories. I know, you know, he might not like me. He might hate my guts. And he might, in his fucking crazy mind, believe that I'm fucking slandering him or I'm trying to hurt him or this, this, and that. It's, 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 it's the substances. That's it. It's the substances, right? Because I respect your channel, bro. All the other little channels, man, I respect them, man. And I hope that they fucking become bigger than mine. And that's the way I feel. That's just real. Ain't no breaking it down. I'm breaking it down to you guys all and let you know exactly the real talk, homes, and the real way I feel. Anyways, with that being said, this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to put out there how great minds think alike. How two people that have been incarcerated half their lives, man, have come together 
on on a YouTube platform, homes, and say, you know, you're all right. I say, you're fucking all right. What's cracking, eh? Right? You're all right. Um, because that's what that's what grown men are supposed to do, man. We're supposed to put differences to the side. We're supposed to put things that don't involve us to the side, homes. This is a place where men can be men, man, if you choose to be. Or you can be a fucking hyena. That's up to you, right? Um, but at the end of the day, man, it's all about respect. It's all about being real. It ain't about manipulation. It ain't about, hey, see, see, you're still, no, nah, no, I'm not, man. I'm really not, bro. Respects to everybody. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, man, it's all about being righteous to your familia and yourself. Do your thing, man, because ain't no one going to do it for you. That's a fact. This is the world we live in. That's the way of the world. All right, the earth wind. And ah, you already know how we get down, right? If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. I fucking appreciate you. You appreciate me? I appreciate you, right? If not, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy as the head that wears the crown. Be on the lookout because this week I'm going to draw banger after banger after banger. I got stories. Woo! Wait. The wind's blowing. Watch how I'm coming, though. Because I'm the gunner with the gap blasting. Now I'm mashing down your block with the Glock. Homie, watch that ass drop. Because I'm the young brown assassin. I'm kicking ass in because I hit you with a passion. So won't you listen to my creep? I roll deep. Deeper than the motherfucker. Use a flick. All right, bang, bang. This is the gun. Who sang that? RBL Posse.